and I'll uh, invite you in 10 years to update us because I'm 63 and I'm still in the zero score club and a CT angiogram read by one of Matt Budoff's projects that's clean as can be. So, you know, I don't take that lightly because that's, you know, from a cardiovascular standpoint, one of the most optimal predictors of long-term survival. Hey, everyone. Short podcast today. I'm back with my vegan buddy, Dr. Joel Kahn, cardiologist, and I always enjoy conversations with himself, even though we do differ on our ideal diets, if you will. And we're going to discuss calcification, prevention of calcification, uh, optimization of vascular health, preventing heart attacks. And we also discussed CX-8, a product that I had involvement in developing. Uh, so it's kind of personal to me. And there is an offer in there as well at the end, if you wish to avail of it, but there's no hard sell. But in any case, preventing heart attacks, that's what it's all about. And you should get some insights from this conversation. I'm back with America's healthy heart doctor, uh, cardiologist, Dr. Joel Kahn. And it was Reader's Digest, by the way, who called him uh, America's healthy heart doctor. And today we're going to talk about calcification, progression of calcification, and uh, some of the ways you can actually counter or support your physiology to slow down and, and help with that process, which causes the most heart attacks and it's the biggest killer in the, in the world, essentially. So great to see you again, Joel. Thank you, Ivor. Thanks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, excellent. And uh, I know we're going to keep it short and sweet, but we were talking before about Dr. Addison, or Agatston, Dr. Budoff, and their amazing work on calcification. And this whole topic of reversal, we both agreed, and the others, that you can't really reverse it because the calcium is a reparative kind of scar that remains. But certainly, there's demonstration of slowing the process right down. And even if you slow it down or close to stop it, the risk, the future risk for the person really plummets compared to the normal advancing rate. Absolutely. And, you know, I think the basic points for people listening that you and I are such big fanatics on is get a heart calcium CT scan. We, we know that the winner is the zero score. Calcium isn't a natural and healthy uh, uh, product of arterial structure. Calcium is a sign of injury, maybe healed injury, maybe chronic injury, yeah, but it's injury. And if you're a zero, you know, if you celebrate, open a bottle of champagne and then maybe recheck your zero. But yeah, what we're discussing is the maybe 40 to 50% of asymptomatic people that aren't a calcium score of zero. They're having silent atherosclerosis. They have injury to their arteries and it's going to get worse and worse unless they you know, make major changes to their lifestyle. And we're going to talk about some natural supplemental ingredients that will heal arteries. And just as you said, put the, put the fire out, which is causing this extreme calcification. So stopping calcification, slowing calcification. It's basically saying we're stopping injury, which is obviously the goal at a lower risk. And all the studies support that. Yeah, absolutely, Joel. And I might show on the screen, uh, you know, the Raji study, one of the most famous ones, but there are many others. And it just shows how if you're below 15% per annum in progression compared to above 15% fast progression, the difference in risk is enormous. And you can just see it in the graphs. It's quite stunning. So an amazing scan, amazing information from the CT scan, low radiation, maybe 100 bucks, five minutes best information you can get. I agree. And it's so sadly underused. You know, this scan was developed in 1990, the hard calcium CT scan. In my area, Detroit, Michigan, we've had it available since 1995. I mean, you know, imagine who was president, prime minister, what cars were people driving? What were the singing groups in 1995? We've had this since then. And I don't think 5% of primary care docs in my area uh, suggest to patients with a prescription to spend $75 to $99 and find out truly how old their arteries are. And if you're a zero, have a party, do it again in about five years, and probably take some vasoactive supplements to keep your arteries optimal along with your lifestyle. But again, we're focusing here on the diseased, asymptomatic person who says, damn, I've got the heart disease issue. I just never want to stent a bypass a heart attack. I don't want to drop dead. And uh, we're going to get to the root cause. It's always root cause analysis 
with my friend Ivor the engineer. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Under, if you can't measure it, you can't understand it. So it's all about measuring and understanding where you are exactly as you say. And just moving on, we'll do a whirlwind tour through the various components because our mutual friend Warren of ExtendLife.com has this really fascinating product CX-8 and there's so many things you can take to support the arteries but the beauty of Warren's product much researched over a long period is it puts together eight different components kind of the top hitters and it makes them into one single supplement with the best sourced ingredients from around the world and the active ingredients a lot of suppliers of these ingredients and out of china and all they're not bioactive they're not micro encapsulated they're lost before they're absorbed so i might start with the first one an old favorite he has included of course vitamin d3 so maybe have a quick word on that yeah, it's just all about healthy endothelium, healthy lining of your 50,000 miles of arteries. Convert that metric if you like. But, you know, if you have a healthy endothelium, it's not going to get injured. It's not going to have atherosclerosis and you're not going to have a high calcium score. So vitamin D3, vitamin D3 supports healthy endothelium. No question about it. And it's a widely, widely common deficiency amongst my patients. So uh, the fact that there's vitamin D3 and uh, CX8 uh, supplement extended, uh, extend life is uh, just there for helping healthy endothelium. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a kind of de rigueur kind of inclusion uh, because it's so fundamental. And you can always go and get more vitamin D if you require it or if you're very low and boosted. So you should be measuring that too anyway. And the second thing is tocotrienols, which I only discovered a couple of years ago when interviewing Dr. Barry Tan, who I know we both have huge respect for. And fascinating how vitamin E is mainly tocopherols version of vitamin E and that can actually be not ideal when you take too much and it can kind of antagonize the tocotrienol form of vitamin E but basically this purified tocotrienol is the one that in reality in the scientific research really links to all the benefits you'd want and very much less the toco tocopherol that most people put in vitamin E so tocotrienols I think is an excellent addition to CX8 I agree. This is like premium gasoline versus just standard in terms of the vitamin E selection you see in most supplements. Uh, there are eight different kinds of vitamin E, as you said, four are called tocopherols, four are the higher valued tocotrienols. And Warren Matthews in Extend Life went to uh, a, a brand called Delta Gold tocotrienols, very well researched, highest quality on the planet. And it's just a huge antioxidant protection, sort of like an umbrella over your endothelium. It's not going to get rained upon if you have a bad meal or are under some stress or slept poorly that night. The tocotrienols will be supporting healthy endothelial function. Again, you won't deposit calcium if your lining's healthy. Yep, that's the bottom line. And we're only on number two, but I'm going to keep it quick. Number three is vitamin K2 MK7 form. And this again may be familiar to some people. Vitamin K2, very important in the process of kind of keeping the calcium out of your arteries and the process of atherosclerosis, mitigating it and keeping healthy bones and kind of putting or calcium in the right place. And the great thing was Warren searched the world over to get the best, highest quality as always. And he ended up getting it from Dr. Hogne Vick in Europe. And Hogne has done huge amounts of research specifically on his form. And there's a lot of data there for that, that a lot of other people use his published papers to kind of support their product, but it's not the same quality, not the same form. So again, this nutraceutical world kind of a little bit of chicanery, but, but this one really uh, is a great addition, I think. Yeah, I agree. That's when I first learned of and looked at Extend Life products. The quality of the ingredients truly and very honestly blew me away because you could source inexpensive, sell the vitamin for less or just make more profit. But Extend Life said, no, we're putting the most researched component. So Mena Q7 is the uh, patented brand of vitamin uh, K2, MK7 in CX8. And uh, it has all the scientific data that you'd want to say, 
you know, preserve arterial flexibility, arterial uh, uh, resistance to stiffness. And in a recent randomized study in the New England Journal of Medicine, undoubtedly vitamin K2 has a role in slowing calcification. It supports a healthy endothelium. You're going to get less calcium deposited. It's a win in CX-8. And uh, cardiomegia is the next one. And most people have heard of omega-3s, fish oil type, and omega-6s, you know, the ones you don't really want that are in the vegetable oils and the seed oils. But this is an omega-7 that's extracted from sea buckthorn. And interestingly, when I first found out about this, I thought omega-7, hmm. And I remembered that in Professor Jeff Volokh's lectures, uh, I have a lot of respect for Professor Volok, he had shown how the unhealthy people eating the unhealthy diet in his trials, they had a higher uh, omega-7. So you'd say, oh, that's a bad thing. But actually, it's an anti-diabetic, anti-metabolic syndrome kind of signaling molecule. So people have a problem, it's higher because it's rising to counter their issue. But to take it as a supplement, there's great evidence that it can act and do its anti insulin resistance uh, actions in the body, but you're actually boosting your body's stores by, by taking it uh, as a supplement. Yeah, I agree. And the fact that there's both component four and component five come from C. buckthorn, you know, from the plant world, very vasoactive endothelial supportive uh, product with many subcomponents, two of which are in CX-8. Uh, it's a great addition. And, uh, you know, we need more omega active substances to fight metabolic syndrome and actually some data about omega active uh, fatty acids uh, slowing or reducing vascular calcification. Uh, so it's excellent that it's in this product. Yep. And Cyanthox, also from the same company, Puridia, and I interviewed their uh, medical doctor, uh, kind of one of their directors, and it's our father's company, and a uh, fascinating discussion we had. But the Cyanthox has been proven in a lot of studies and laboratory kind of testing to be a very effective antioxidant and kind of head and shoulders above the nearest competitors, other well-known antioxidants. So I think it's a very it's a very good component to add in also, even though, you know, there's expense involved in all of these and it, it costs quite a bit to put these together. But I think it was well included. Yeah, I agree. And just one comment. I mean, there's at least one animal study that this specific ingredient, cyanthox from C. buckthorn, promotes a healthy stem cell release. And you know, you're getting older, I'm getting older, probably everybody watching this is getting older and the ability to uh, find natural pathways to stimulate stem cells, whether it's by fasting or cyanthox and CX-8. So I'm all for that. And, you know, we would like a human study to confirm it, uh, but it's very hopeful. Yeah, and actually you've reminded me, Cyanthox, yeah, there are studies, not exactly human RCTs, but have demonstrated the endothelial progenitor cells promotion uh, with this component so it kind of targets exactly what you're what you're trying to do and there's a couple more ingredients uh, also there's rutin an antioxidant and black currant extract from high uv new zealand environment so it's full of antioxidants uh, over there and these couple of antioxidants maybe we'll have a quick word on them yeah i just rutin is a fascinating natural uh, flavanol, and flavanols are in the news for all their health benefits, one of the polyphenols. Uh, rutin is related to quercetin or quercetin, which is also known to support healthy endothelium, and that's why it's in another Extend Life product. And rutin is very also good for veins. People that have vein disorders often support their venous health, and there aren't that many products uh, that do that, and rutin is one of them. So uh, three cheers for rutin being in here, three cheers for black current polyphenols in here and i think we're down to the last component of cx8 we are indeed uh, and last but certainly not least uh, because in order of priority i'd put this one up pretty high uh, it's just the way the list went natto kinase and warren has used a natto zymes version from the usa 
And natto kinase, I was amazed. I'd heard about it before. I knew it was associated with the Japanese who are very, very smart on, on health and very focused on nutraceuticals and supplements. Japanese, very clever. Uh, but natto kinase over there, huge amounts of research. I mean, I got one kind of uh, paper that was just combining together a, a review paper on all of the research on the benefits of natto kinase. And it was, it was quite dramatic. Uh, and I even looked up a lot of the uh, references in it and those papers and I thought, what an extensive literature and, and demonstrated advantage. I agree. I've been using natto kinase in my clinic as a substitute for aspirin in people that haven't recently had a heart stent. Of course, in a heart stent, you're going to go with the pharmaceutical agents uh, because it can lower cholesterol, can lower blood pressure, according to research studies, uh, has a bit of an anti-platelet, anti-sticking effect. And natazymes just happens to be, again, because Extend Life has really uh, not sacrificed the quality, uh, even if it costs a bit more. Uh, natazymes is just the superior source of natokinase. Of course, it's an active enzyme that is sourced from soybeans. It's not a soybean. It's it's not edamame. Uh, there's, you know, of course, vitamin K2 can be sourced from soybeans, but this is an enzyme in the broth that's related to soy. And uh, it's, you don't have to worry about allergies. It's a very, very healthy component of CX-8. Yeah, it's great stuff. So that wraps up a superb list of ingredients and putting together the kind of the best and as we know warren himself had a major calcification problem it caught him by surprise because he was otherwise super healthy and he spent he had a two-year odyssey really to pull together all of the different components he saw as the most valuable with the best data behind them and published data and then he could craft for himself <laughs> that was a good driver at uh, this cx8 product and now it's available for everyone else to take advantage of and you know one last thing and it also involves warren he did take it himself for over a year and he had taken pulse wave velocity which is an fda approved test for arterial stiffness and arterial health and interestingly he came up early on at the start of his journey with a value or an age uh, up in the 70s and he was 72 and his son who is actually i think only 42 years old got a an arterial age from pulse wave of 50 something but they both for the whole year in fairness they were doing diet and lifestyle also but warren and his son both came right down uh, to i think warren in his 40s i'll show the graph on the screen and his son came down a good bit too because the latter half of the year he was now taking the cx8 and doing more in diet and lifestyle and it was quite intriguing so uh, what did you think of that one or what do you think of that test yes you know and you already said with your engineering background what you can't measure you can't improve upon but pulse wave analysis is a simple non-invasive uh, evaluation that reflects to some degree the stiffness or the flexibility or your blood vessels healthy blood vessels are flexible aging blood vessels are stiff so that drop in arterial age you're as old as your arteries both warren and his son uh, had a parameter that says they got more youthful when they started supplementing with all these endothelial superstars and again as always the caveat i know i said it already but in fairness they had more awareness now about lowering sugar and about getting exercise and diet and lifestyle were kind of running concurrently uh, but still given the science behind these ingredients not too surprising at all we see some pretty interesting arterial results so that's super uh, joel a delightful conversation and we're going to be talking shortly on vascu flow and blood pressure hypertension which is a huge issue in the western world um i agree uh that actually is the first uh extend life product i became aware of because of listening to your wonderful podcast and uh i literally was a jaw-dropping moment how high quality the product was so we'll go over that in a moment and i think people will enjoy that Hope you enjoyed my latest chat with Dr. Khan. 
uh, I always do. And the offer, as mentioned, is 20% off CX-8, the multi-component nutraceutical that we were discussing there. And it's from Extend Life and my friend Warren Matthews. I flew to New Zealand in 2019 and discussed this product at length. And he also flew to Ireland. And I think it's pretty much one of the best out there and is approximately a quarter of the price of buying the individual components separately. And though, of course, you can do that also. So it's 20% off. The code is IVERCX8. Links are down below. Yes, I make a small little amount uh, for each order. Be transparent about that. But it's for people who have the means, who are really focused on vascular health, preventing heart attacks, to augment their vascular health and to mitigate the damage that comes with age naturally. So it's there for anyone who wants to avail and 20% off. I think you can get an extra 10% if you sign up for their newsletter. Not entirely sure on that. But again, Extend Life, great company, superb quality. I went through their whole facility in New Zealand from incoming raw materials quality through to worldwide shipping. So an excellent outfit, I must say. And I have a background in FDA regulated GMP, medical device manufacturer. So I know a good thing when I see it. But the offer is there should you wish to avail. And the links are all down below. And with that... Catch you next time.